In this video, I'm going to talk about the balance price range strategy. So now let's get into the video. So what is a balance price range? That's the first thing we're going to talk about. So a balance price range is when we have sell side delivery and buy side delivery within the same general range. So basically we will have a CB and then a busy overlapping that CB. So in this case, we see we have this bearish value gap within here from this high down to the slow. That is the CB. And over here we have a busy from this high to this low. And that creates a balanced price range. So then we want to use this balanced price range for our trade entry. So now let's talk about some of the criteria we want for this model. So the first one, we want to see a balanced price range, of course, which we have right here. Second, internal range liquidity must not be ran before we make the retracement. So in this case, we see the price takes out the internal range liquidity, but in this case, it's an intermediate term high. And when price takes out intermediate term highs, it also gives a confirmation that price is probably going to be willing to go higher. So third one, it has to be a singular CB. So we want to see a singular CB like this one, and we don't want to see five different CBs and then just one busy overlapping all of them. So for this example, this is what it looks like. And fourth, we have to have a obvious strong liquidity like equal highs or equal lows. So obvious strong liquidity in this case would of course be the internal range liquidity, but it has already been ran. So we could go up here and see that we have these highs up here, which is kind of relative equal highs. As we see, price almost make it right here. <clears throat> so fifth, we want to see an actual retracement happen. So when we're trading the inversion failure gap model, we usually can just enter right when price. As you see in this case, price closes above the inversion failure gap model. But in this case, we want to see an actual retracement down into the balanced price range. So now let's just talk about this example right here. So first, do we have a balanced price range? Yes, we have a balanced price range right here. Second, has internal range liquidity been ran before it made the retracement? In this case, yes, but it's fine because it's an intermediate term high. Third, it has to be a singular CB. And yes, we see we have a singular CB within here. Fourth, we have to have a obvious strong liquidity like equal highs or equal lows or just internal range liquidity. And yes, this could be a nice strong liquidity up here. Fifth, we want to see a retracement and we get a retracement into the balance price range. So what if we were to take a trade entry? So now let's just say we went lifetime and we see the price of taking out this intermediate term high and lift a balance price range down here. So in that case, we want to see the retracement happen. So then if we were to take a trade entry, we could enter right when price makes the retracement down into the top of the balance price range, put our stop loss at this low, and then target this high up here which will make a fine risk reward ratio at 3.6. So now let's see if we can get the retracement. And if you see price is starting to move lower, overlapping this busy right here, but this busy is also within a premium. So it doesn't matter. Right here we see that we get the retracement down into the balance price range, so then we put our stop loss at the slow and target the equal highs or relative equal highs up here. And we see price makes another retracement down into the balance price range. And right here we see we make a deeper retracement. We also go deeper into the discount. And if we were to use the OTE, we also see we hit the 0 0.79. And then we now want to see price take out these relative eagle highs up here. And that price does right here. So this could be a kind of life example on how price moves with this balanced price range model. Now let's talk about why this balanced price range wouldn't work. So we see we have a CB over here and then a busy over here. And the reason this would work is because it's not within the same general range, as it is 216 bars away from each other. And something like this down here 
This could be a balanced price range. Or, yeah, this right here. It's the same way, better example. Because it's within the same general range. And up here, this is just too far away from each other. So now let's talk about this example, because this is very interesting. So we see right here we have a 60 minute Fibonacci gap. And then price comes down here. And creates a smart money reversal. So you see we have a market maker sell model and then a market maker buy model. So down here we create a smart money reversal. And what's interesting about this low right here is because it's an intermediate term low. I see we have a short term low right here and then a short term low right here. So already we have a confirmation that this is the smart money reversal and this is an intermediate term low. So what do we have right here? We have a balanced price range. So now we have the first thing for our model, and we also have some extra confirmations for higher prices. So what do we have over here? We have internal range liquidity. And has this been taken out before we make the retracement? No, it has not. So this is the draw on liquidity. So now we also have the second criteria, which is internal range liquidity must not be ran before the retracement. And third, oh no, sorry, four, it has to be an obvious draw on liquidity. And third, it has to be a singular CB. So we see right here, there's a singular CB. But this CB up here, we do not use this as there are no further gap within here. And this further gap overlap this CB. So now, we also see that CB didn't overlap. Oh, sorry, this busy didn't overlap the CB up here. So this is the balance price range you want to use. So then we see price makes the retracement. And we could also consider this the short term low. So the second short term low and the intermediate term low, classic formation. So now, if we were to take a trade entry, we could enter it right when price comes down and touches the balance price range. Right there. Put our stop loss at the intermediate term low. And then, of course, target the internal range liquidity. But this only makes a 1.09 risk reward ratio. So in this case, what do we do? So as we see, we can go further down. This up here could be the draw on liquidity. And the reason for that is because we have a market maker sell model and then a market maker buy model. And market maker buy models usually go up to the equilibrium of the market maker sell model. So we can just use this right here. So in that case, we could target the 0 0.5 range. But that will still only make a 1.4 risk reward ratio. So in that case, we could target this high up here. And we could take partials at both the internal range liquidity and the 0 0.5 range. And of course, this up here. And at last, the main draw on liquidity, which is the highest high of this migrant or so model. So in that case, that will make a 3.8 risk reward ratio. So now let's just go over this in a live example. So you see, we have the sell side delivery, and now we have the buy side delivery. So the SIBI and then the BISI. So this is our balance price range. And over here we have a short term low. And we have the smart money reversal because it delivered from a 60 minute early gap, which is a intermediate term low also. So now we want to see a short term low happen, failing to take out the intermediate term low. So let's just say we were prepared to take a trade entry, put our stop loss at this low down here, because if price were to take out this low, the bullish idea was disrespected. And now let's see if we can take a trade entry up here. And right here, we get a deeper retracement. Put our stop loss down here. And if we were to take multiple contracts, we would definitely take partials at the internal range liquidity at the 0 0.5 range of the sell side of the curve, of course, the equilibrium, and also the main draw on liquidity, which is the highest high of the sell side of the curve. So now, Let's just target all the way up here. So let's see how price plays out. So now we see to make the short term low. Also taking out this low down here. So now once to see price both taking out the internal range liquidity. And right here, price takes out the internal range liquidity. So in that case, we want to move our stop loss up to break even. 
because price could potentially reverse from the interim range liquidity. So now let's see what happens when price touches the equilibrium of the sole side of the curve. And right here we did. And now we want to see the displacement above it. We see price is right here. And when price touches the equilibrium, we could of course also move our stop loss maybe up to the high of the bronze price range just to be secured profit. So now let's see if price could take out the main draw on liquidity. And we see price does right here. So that was it for this video. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions, just make sure to comment down below. And also have a free Discord link in the description.